Marvel's Midnight Suns will be dawning before long, with less than a month before XCOM devs at Fire Axis take us on a Marvel hero demon hunt. While the inexhaustible juggernaut of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is stuck in the throes of cosmic conflicts and maddening multiverses, Midnight Suns is Marvel exploring its occult era. We've got a cursed tomes, we've got a haunted abbey, we've got Wolverine with magic runes etched into his tights, and because Blade is there, we'll have at least one vampire. Hey! Drawing from team-up comic stories dating back to the 1990s, Marvel's Midnight Suns is the kind of turn-based tactical RPG you'd expect from the XCOM devs. But here, you'll find the hands of cards in the place of aliens and hit chance percentages. Yes, you heard that right. While Midnight Suns will have the turn-based strategy aspect that XCOM fans fell in love with, it will also be involving a card element. Specifically, a random ability card deck that players will be dealt at the beginning of each mission. We all know that cards have an incredibly bad reputation in modern video games. They seem to be forever linked to microtransactions or random loot box packs. Randomness, extra spending, pay to win. So with all of that baggage in the back of our mind, we've decided to make a video about this upcoming game, as it is one of the most highly anticipated by everyone. In early June 2021, ahead of E3 2021, early rumors emerged that Fire Axis Games, the studio responsible for Civilization and the XCOM series, was developing a Marvel Universe-based game similar to that of XCOM. Later that same year, specifically on the 25th of August, Midnight Suns was announced during GamesCon 2021. The trailer showcased the card system using combat. While the strategy combat system in the game didn't come as a surprise, considering who the developers are, the battle card system got some of you concerned. While many expressed their fear that there could be loot boxes in the game, the developers were quick to respond to that and confirm that there are indeed no loot boxes in Midnight Suns, nor any other microtransactions involved with the card system. There will, however, be purely cosmetic skins that will be available for purchase, but these won't impact the balance of the game. The game has cards, but it's not a card game. Marvel's Midnight Suns is a tactical RPG that uses a deck building style combat system. At the start of each mission, you will choose three heroes to enter the battlefield, each with a large number of abilities that are represented by cards. So, in addition to the turn based combat, players will also be utilizing the environment, team composition, and that random assortment of ability cards. Basically, combat in Midnight Suns evolves picking three heroes and using a deck of random ability cards. During each turn of play in a mission, you can typically use three cards, redraw two of them and move your character once. These cards can also be upgraded as you progress through the game. This isn't a card game like Hearthstone, but something similar to roguelites that use card abilities such as Slay the Spire. Players can use these ability cards in conjunction with the environment to deal massive damage to enemies as well. Blast your enemy at a nearby gas tank or even off the ledge to quickly clear the field of bad guys when you're in a pinch. You can also coordinate team attacks if you've got the right heroes with you. Improving your relationship with these characters during Midnight Sun's social segments will also improve your tag team abilities. So, while we got the aspect of cards and how exactly they influence combat out of the way, let's discuss why our heroes are fighting in the first place. What is the Midnight Sun story? And who the heck is the hunter? In Midnight Suns, humanity is put at risk by Lilith, mother of demons, an agent, powerful, and malevolent being who's about as pleasant as the name would suggest. Defeated and sealed away centuries ago, she's been resurrected by, surprise surprise, Hydra, and is apparently attempting to summon her elder godmaster, Hethon. As with all things involving elder gods, that would probably be very, very bad. Meanwhile, in Midnight Suns, you play as the Hunter, an original hero created specifically for this game. You'll be able to choose between a male and female Hunter and customize their appearance. And coincidentally, or ironically if you'd rather, you're Lilith's child. Oh god! In case it wasn't obvious enough, it's not a warm relationship. It was you who defeated Lilith in the past, sealing her away before entering your own centuries-long slumber. And since mommy's back to try another apocalypse, you've been thought out for a rematch. As the Hunter, you'll be fighting alongside over a dozen established heroes from the Marvel canon. In the comics, the Midnight Suns roster trends towards more obscure occult team heroes, with a few recognizable names like Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, and Blade. For Midnight Suns, Fire Axis is bringing Avengers and X-Men at plenty. These heroes have been confirmed so far. We have Captain America, Blade, Magic, Iron Man, Wolverine, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, Nico Minaro, Ghost Rider, Spider-Man, which will be available as a character for Xbox players too, which is awesome, Scarlet Witch, Deadpool, Venom, Storm, and Morbius, for some reason. Okay, let's not hate on Morbius, it's not the character's fault, it's the actor who's playing it. All these characters, but how will the gameplay actually be? Well, fear not, for we have a 
a lot of info on that too. While creative director Jake Solomon claimed that Midnight Suns will be completely different from XCOM, it's still a tactics RPG from Fire Access. But there are some big departures from the XCOM model, namely that Midnight Suns is a card game. Instead of having an action bar with your character's actions laid out to use on cooldown, each turn you'll have a hand of cards randomly drawn from a deck you will be assembling for each hero. These are how your heroes will attack or use their powers for utility options, like defense boost and stealth buffs. A heroism counter builds as you play abilities, letting some cards cash in specified amounts of heroism to gain additional effects. For example, one Wolverine card gained a lifesteal keyword from above a certain heroism threshold, healing him for whatever damage he dealt with. Unlike XCOM's grid-based gameplay, characters in Midnight Suns can freely move and target any point within a radius on their turn. There are also no hit percentages to worry about. As the devs have specified, these are literal superheroes. They're not going to give Captain America the opportunity to miss on a 95% attack roll. You won't be dealing with permadeath either. For better or worse, Marvel isn't letting a basic enemy kill off Iron Man for good because you fumbled the turn. The devs understand that this sort of stuff can and will happen. When you're not busy fighting bad guys, aka between missions, you'll retire to the Abbey, the Midnight Sun's headquarters. You'll be able to interact with your teammates, building friendships with them in dialogue, tree conversations, and hangout sequences. It's also where you'll manage and upgrade your selection of ability cards for your heroes. There's mention of crafting too, and some discoverable lore. It's somewhere between the base management layer from XCOM and hanging out with your Normandy companions in Mass Effect, with some light exploration thrown in just for good measure. Because it's a superhero game, there'll be different costumes to choose from for both the hunter and the existing heroes. It's unclear whether they are just unlockable cosmetics, or they'll be tied to crafted upgrades. But we're hoping it's the latter. We'd love for the arcane embellishments on the trailer costumes to be the product of whatever enhanced alloy we fortified Iron Man's armor with. No news on whether more will be available for purchase. Hopefully, there'll be enough aesthetic options without having to spend more cash. According to the developers, this game will be pretty long. To give you an idea, in the gameplay showcase livestream, it was mentioned that you'll still be recruiting heroes to the cause even after a dozen or so hours of playing. So you better be prepared with snacks and loads of energy drinks to power through all that. Also, another fun and cute if I do say so myself, fact is that your character, the hunter, will have a pet hellhound named Charlie. Because of course you do. She will help you find treasure in the game. And yes, thank god, you can pet her. And the good news keeps coming. You are also able to secure an exclusive Night Stalker skin for Blade by signing up for the Midnight Suns newsletter on the game's website. There's a Doctor Strange skin available as a pre-order bonus too. Oh, look at us, ending a video on a good note. Huh. Anyway, what do you think about the new Midnight Suns? Are you looking forward to playing it, or did you find the card element lacking a bit? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like it and share it with your friends. Also, if you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon so you're notified every time we post a new video. Or we will patch you with some cards.